I used the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 120mm cooler for about a month now and I am ready to share my opinion. Of course, I will demonstrate how it sounds and its thermal performance. Can I recommend this compact liquid cooler? Let's find out right after a short message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 license for less at cdkoffers.com using the link in the description below. Use code IV20 for an additional 20% off and safely check out with PayPal for instant delivery. In the box you will get everything you need to install this cooler on top of any CPU, including Intel's new 12th Gen LGA1700 socket, and a generous amount of thermal paste, enough for at least two applications. The radiator has a premium look. It is matte black and boxy. My favorite feature on this cooler is hidden cables. They are routed under one of the tube sleeves. I can't even tell which one just by looking at it. It means that Arctic did a good job hiding it. Fewer cables to manage is always a huge plus in my opinion. At the other end of those tubes there is a big copper plate that will cool the CPU. Also there is a little fan to help with VRM cooling. It is very quiet, so no problems there. The installation is easy. You will find a detailed step-by-step -step installation guide online by scanning this QR code using your smartphone camera or any other device, or just enter the URL manually. I decided to mount the radiator at the top. It is the best spot for it. Another good spot is at the back of the case. Just replace your exhaust fan with it. If you mount the cooler at the top, there will still be enough space left for RAM with high-profile heatsinks if you use a standard size ATX PC case. Current prices are $68 in the US, 50 British pounds in the UK, or 64 euros in Europe. The link to buy it is in the description below. Now to the thermal performance and noise test. By the way, I tested it paired with Intel i5-11500, with power limit unlocked to 120 watts, so it is not an easy task to cool this CPU. This is how it sounds on standard preset, as set by my ASRock motherboard. By the way, it's the perfect day uh, to stress test it, because it's plus 31 inside my room right now. I can't do anything about it, no aircon. But yeah, let's listen in. Now I am on the silent preset. The temperature rose by one degrees. Let's have a listen. Overall, I would say that the performance and noise levels are very good. You will be hard-pressed to hear the cooler if you keep your PC further away from your head, like on the floor under a desk. Just to put things into perspective, here is what Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo Air CPU cooler sounds like on the same hot summer day. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I'd rather have the liquid cooler, thank you very much. What is my verdict? Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 gets a recommendation from me. There is nothing bad I can say about it even after a month of usage. Go for it and you won't be disappointed. Like this video if it was helpful. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.